fella's lost. Don't worry, mate. I'll find your mum. You mustn't run off like that. How many times have I told you? Come on. What kind of mother takes her son to a modern art gallery? Borderline child abuse. What are we doing here, anyway? I told you. We're doing a viral campaign for the gallery. A load of wank, if you ask me. Keep your voice down. These are clients. My boss is here. Who cares what they think? Fucking corporate whores! <laughs> are you drunk? Maybe. Are you kidding me right now, Liam? No. Natalie! Uh, Liam, this is um, Mr. Jennings, my boss. <clears throat> From the office party. Right. Remember? And this is Adrian. Yeah. Good to see you, man. How's the band going? Is it the head wipers? Yeah, it's going fucking awesome, mate. Yeah. yeah, actually, Liam's not feeling too great. Uh, so he might have to head back. Sorry to hear that. Feel better, man. Don't do this to me. You're drunk. You need to go home. What's that? What? That. I bought an iPod. Are you serious? I mean, where's the inlay sleeve? Where's the track listing? Where's the artwork? Where are the credits? Look, I just want to listen to the music. You used to want to design album covers for crying out loud. Yeah, well, I guess they'll just have to be digital now. Digital. All of this crap is killing the music industry. Don't you realise that? We met in a record store. That's never going to happen again. If those things had been around ten years ago, then we'd never have even met. I mean, where does it end? Food chains, coffee chains iPods, cell phones. It's all part of the same process of corporate homogenization. Yeah, it's just a hundred quid to you, but no one's stopping to ask what the true cost is here. To the music industry, to the little man, to the individual, to the band, to me. Liam, keep your voice down. No, I'm sorry, but I can't let this slide, Nat. The iPod is a shoplifter of the soul, and it's designed specifically to sap the human spirit. Look, you sold out. Please be quiet. Or what? Hey, or what? You fucking people. You don't have any heart, any soul. You don't know what it costs to create something, to reach inside yourself and pull your heart out and get nothing in return. Your people wouldn't know good art if it hit you in the fucking face. 